Relationships, part two. What are some activities you like to do with your friends? Do you like to go to the movies? Do you like to play games with them? Maybe play video games, talk on the phone, go for a walk with your friends. Maybe you like to go out to eat or go to the mall or watch TV. Boyfriends and girlfriends. The person who becomes your boyfriend or girlfriend might be somebody who you already know as a friend, but who you want to spend more and more time with. You may feel excited to be with that person and want to spend time with them alone. Dating. When you start to spend more time with someone and date, you will probably do lots of the same things as with your friends. You might go to the movies with your date, you might go out to eat, or you might hang out in a park or go for a walk. Blue hug circle. Do you remember the blue hug circle? What are some things you would only do with a boyfriend or girlfriend and not a friend? Maybe holding hands? Maybe touching each other? Maybe having a close hug? Or kissing? These are all things you might only do with a boyfriend or girlfriend and not do with a, a friend. Dating relationships. Dating relationships or a boyfriend-girlfriend um, relationships usually means two people spending time together in a close relationship. These types of relationships develop over time and may include friendship and or romantic love. Having a crush. What does having a crush mean? It is common for teens to have a crush on another person, which means that you really like that person and have romantic feelings for that person. Romantic feelings might feel like butterflies when you see the person, and you might think about them and being in a relationship with them. Having a celebrity crush. It is possible to have a celebrity crush. Someone on TV or in the movies, someone you do not know in your everyday life. Having a crush. C crushes sometimes do not last very long. You can have a crush and no one needs to know. You don't have to tell the person, but if you want to be in a relationship with them, you can tell them. If they tell you that they don't feel the same way back, it is time to move on and accept that you will not have a relationship. If someone tells you they have a crush on you, you do not have to have a relationship with them if you don't want to. Asking someone out. You have a crush on someone and decide to ask them out on a date. How can you ask them out? You could call them on the phone. You could do it in person. You could ask a friend to ask them out for you. Or you could send a message, maybe a text, maybe an email, maybe a message on social media. How does it feel to ask someone out? Scary. It can feel nervous. And it can also feel exciting. It is important to remember that the person might say no, and even though that might make you feel sad, it is their choice. Families in dating. In some families, your parents or other family members might be involved in your relationships. They might help you find a partner or suggest someone you could go on a date with. Homework. Think back to our friends lesson. What were some of the qualities you look for in a friend? Which qualities might you also look for in a boyfriend or girlfriend? Think of an actor or actress or singer that you like. What do you like about them? You can use this chart for ideas or you can write or say whatever you think. Okay. I'll